Well, I believe that it is my responsibility as a representative of my constituents that I protect them from the criminals and at the same time protecting their personal liberties. And drones are a very, very effective tool against fighting against the bad guys uh, from my experience in the Marine Corps, uh, which means I don't want them to be a very, very effective tool uh, against the good guys. And so this, uh, this legislation puts restrictions on Tennessee law enforcement, whereas right now they don't have restrictions. Uh, the Federal Aviation Administration said that by 2020 there will be 10,000 drones uh, in the skies. And so we do not have laws on the book dealing with drones. Uh, and so this legislation puts limitations on law enforcement uh, in order to protect our personal liberties, while at the same time it's got exceptions, giving them the tools that they need to uh, you know, catch the criminals and save lives in those situations. Um, I know in uh, the committee, uh, when you were discussing it, you mentioned commercial drones. Use. Uh, is this is this bill specifically about law enforcement yes. or is it broader like to commercial? This, lo this bill only deals with law enforcement right now. Okay. Um, I guess you've also mentioned that you've had experience uh, using drones. Like, uh, What experience would that right. be? Uh, well, I was a sniper during my time enlisted in the Marine Corps uh, and about 80% of what a sniper in the Marine Corps does, a scout sniper, is uh, reconnaissance and surveillance. We are the eyes and ears of our battalion. And so uh, during one of our training sessions, getting ready to go to Iraq, we were we were always given experimental technology, uh, different things to, for surveillance. And so uh, we had a drone, I forget the name of it, Dragon's Breath or Dragon's Eye. Uh, we were given drones to, to see if we wanted to use them on deployment. So that is where I experienced it.